increasingly is that there will be a sign, for instance, at the Detroit Zoo. They have the, you know, welcome to the Detroit Zoo, and it's got all the rules, and you know, don't throw your kids in a lion cage, and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> and at the bottom, the last thing is, uh, this is an entertainment facility with a seating capacity above 2,500. doesn't say why, but if you're taking this class, you know why. So, the zoo is a fiscal free zone. You'll see that increasingly now in um, movie theaters as well. <clears throat> Some could argue that it's a gray area because I think in doing that they're counting all of the screens instead of individual screens. And um, but I'm not going to be the test case myself. So if you see it in a movie theater, then they will the, theoretically the movie theater is a pistol free zone. I think um, the other way to look at it is you, when you're dealing with someone else's private property whether it's you're going over your friend's house or you're going to a privately owned business such as a movie theater or a shopping mall. If the owner of that property says, I don't want you bringing guns on my property, then that's going to trump your license. Pretty straightforward, right? So if the, if the owner has said, well, this is an uh, entertainment facility above 2500 <clears throat> Even if you win the argument that it's not an entertainment facility above 2500 I think there's a strong argument to be made that that was an expression of that owner's intent to make his facility pistol free. So it's kind of a, a two-edged thing there. And so basically, you know, you don't want to get into an argument with somebody over whether or not you can take your gun onto their